want to score goals in hockey, you have to know how to shoot. In this series of clips, we're going to show you how you can improve your technique, your accuracy, and your power. If you want to practice shooting, you need a good net and a nice smooth surface to practice shooting off of. For the net, I like to use the Easy Goal. It's a great net. It folds up. You can store it away if you'd like. And also, you can get the Easy Goal Backstop. The backstop is great when you're practicing your shooting because it's going to give you a margin of error. Think of all the pucks that you'll have to go and chase if you just miss the post by a couple inches. I remember when I was shooting, I used to be scared to aim for the top corner because I didn't want to send the puck sailing a few hundred yards away and have to go and get it. So with the backstop, you don't have this problem. If you miss, the puck's going to hit there, bounce back here. Unless you have really bad accuracy and you're shooting around here, but with our help, you're going to be hitting the top corners every time. Something else that you're going to want to have when you're shooting is targets. If you're just shooting at an open net, it could get kind of boring. You always want something to practice sniping. It makes you feel good when you really hit all those targets. So these are the easy goal targets. They actually come with this net when you order it, so that's pretty sweet. You can also buy them separately and they can fit into any regulation size net. What you get is four targets. They're this deep mesh pockets, so the pucks will stay in there really nice. And one for the top and bottom, every single corner. So if you want to practice picking the corners, this is what you need. Very affordable as well. When you're practicing shooting, you're going to need a nice smooth surface. This is the pro size shooting pad. It gives you enough room for doing a full wrist shot, slap shot, anything you want to practice. The first thing we're going to practice is your wrist shot. When you're practicing the wrist shot, a few things that you want to incorporate. You want to have your hand in the right spot. Depending on the shot, you want to have about three quarters to halfway down your stick. And I'm going to go through the whole step with, with you right now so you can work on technique and form. So, for a nice powerful wrist shot, you want to pull the puck back. You want to have the puck about the middle to the heel of the blade of your stick, no further past the heel. And that just helps getting the full power on the shot. If it's on the toe, it's going to come off your stick. You're not getting that torque either because your stick, you can't get the power on there. So, start with it pulled back. And when you're, what you want to do, you have your hand about three quarters halfway down the stick. You're pulling with both your hands, puck towards the net and you're going to push off with your back leg for that weight transfer. Weight transfer is very important to getting power on your shot. So you start the shot, step into it, you're pulling. Right about here, you can see the blade of the stick. Remember to start cupping the puck. The blade of the stick's going to come up. Right about there is when the puck starts to get onto the blade of your stick, and that's when you're going to want to pull back with your top hand, you push forward with your bottom hand, you roll your hands over, and you aim. So I'll do the shot here, show you what it looks like. I'll do one more for you, see if I can go top right, work on accuracy after, just hit the post. So remember, you want to have your hand about three quarters to the middle, you want to cup the puck when you start, you're going to do that weight transfer, it's very important, and right about there, this is the tricky part, just getting the puck off the ice, a lot of people who are beginners have a problem with that, right about there, you push with your bottom hand, pull back your top hand, you roll your hand to aim. One more time. The slap shot has some similarities to the wrist shot because you want to be transferring your power into the shot. It's all about weight transfer to get all the power that you want, but the technique is a lot different. With the wrist shot, you're cupping the puck and you're pulling it forwards. With the slap shot, you basically start at that release point and where you hit the ice is very important. So for the slap shot, you start with the puck a few inches behind your foot, anywhere in there. You don't want it too far back of this. You won't get any power on it. So start with it right about where you're going to release and what you want to do practice with just a, a low wind up first because if you have too big of a wind up you're going to outstretch yourself you have all kinds of uh, weird things going on so practice keep it simple to start and just work on getting the puck off of the ice or the shooting pad in this case and what you want to do is a little wind up get that weight transfer you push off through your back leg this is very important when you hit the ice or the shooting pad you want to hit a few inches behind the puck and your hand, you want it about the middle of the blade of your shaft because you want to get the most flex out of your stick as you can. So you come down, pretend like you're flexing the stick like you would in the store to feel how much flex you can get. That's what you want to feel. Right there, you hit the pad, you're going to flex, and then you follow through and release. Remember the weight transfer. I'll show you what it looks like. Do another one here. The shooting pad, it's very durable. You can take thousands of shots. You're, it's going to last forever. Here's another one. 
So, what you want to do, remember the key point is the weight transfer, you're pushing off that back leg. Don't bother with a huge wind up to start. You can start with just a low one and work on hitting the ice or the pad behind the puck, flexing that stick, and then pushing forward and you roll your hands for right. One more. For the snapshot, really relying on the snap of your wrist to get that power that you usually get from full wrist shot and weight transfer. So for the snapshot, I like to transfer my weight onto a different leg. For the wrist shot, I'm stepping into it, transferring the weight onto that leg. For the snapshot, I practice transfer my weight onto this leg. Snapshot's great. When you're in close, you want to get a quick release, not give the goalie any clue what you're going to do. And for the snapshot, I like to use the toe of the blade of my stick, pull it in, step into it, and then snap the puck right there. It's a bit of a different technique than the wrist shot. You're not pulling, 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 and launching. You're pulling the puck in, and then snapping it right there. So I'll give you a few shots here. I like to try to go bar down all the time. There's two. So I'll give you a nice close-up look at what I'm doing here. Use the toe, pull the puck in. You're pulling it towards the net and also towards your body a bit. And then right there you want to snap. And that snap is what's going to give you most of the power. I like to have my hand in the middle of the shaft for the snapshots because you want to get the most flex out of there. So I'll do a few here. There you go. Those tips should help you learn or improve your backhand, your wrist shot, your snap shot, and your slap shot. Now what you want to do is get maximum power and awesome accuracy. So in this clip, we're going to show you how to improve your power, and then we're going to show you how to improve your accuracy. When it comes to improving your power, one thing that I definitely recommend is a radar gun. Pick one of these up, you can test your wrist shot, test your slap shot, you write down what your speed is, and you go out and keep on practicing, and you're definitely going to improve your power because you're going to have something to compete against. And this is great if you're going to train with yourself or even with friends, you can compete and see who has the hardest slap shot, hardest wrist shot. Definitely recommend the radar gun. The other things that will help you build your power, you got the weighted hockey pucks. These are really good. If you fire a few of these off the wrist shot, then you go to the black puck and you fire that, it's going to feel like you're shooting nothing at all. So the weighted hockey pucks are really good at building your muscles. And definitely recommend picking some of that, those up. Wouldn't really recommend them for the uh, slap shot though because you could end up breaking your stick. But for the wrist shot, really good. Uh, there's also the stick weight, which is pretty cool. You can wrap it around your stick. It makes it a bit heavier and it'll just add a bit of weight to your shooting. So those will all help build your shooting muscles while you're shooting. If you want to improve your shot power, really what you have to do is just shoot a lot. Because a lot of your power comes from your technique. So work on good technique. If you don't have that good technique, you can be the strongest guy on your team, but you're going to have a weak shot because you're not shooting properly. So number one thing, work on your technique. You want to shoot a lot. The more you shoot, the more your muscles are going to be trained to perform the motions effectively. It's also going to build all your muscles. These weighted pucks, like I said, are really good for the wrist shot. So just like any normal puck, you fire them 43 miles per hour. I got the radar gun set up. Uh, it's really easy to display, uh, you can read it very well, but for some reason uh, cameras have a hard time picking up. I think it might flicker or something, so I'll just call it the speeds. It's 50 miles per hour, and once you fire a few of those weighted pucks, you get one of these uh, heavy, or the regular hockey pucks, and they feel very light. It's 54 miles per hour, 56 miles per hour, 55 miles per hour. So now for the slap shot, same thing for the slap shot, you want more power, you just have to go out and shoot, 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 get a couple hundred pucks, shoot them every day, you have that radar gun, it's great because you can practice and improve and see how much you're improving, so it's going to motivate you like crazy. I remember when I first got it, it wasn't a very good shot, I just kept shooting, I improved my slap shot power by 20 miles per hour, basically just by using pucks, nice smooth surface like the hockey shooting pad and the radar gun. So I'll give you a few uh, slap shots here, see how high I can get them. 70 miles per hour, 69, oh, <laughs> I hit the radar gun there. There's a good tip for you, don't have the radar gun too close to the net because the puck, uh, if you have a nice hard shot, it might hit the radar gun. So we'll end it there. There you go, there's a few tips on improving your power. Work on that technique, get the perfect technique because technique is everything when it comes to shooting. Also, just go out there, shoot like crazy, shoot all the time. And one product I definitely recommend if you want to get awesome power and brag about it is a radar gun. 
because you can tell your friends exactly how, how hard you shoot and then they'll brag and they'll say, oh, I have a 90 mile per hour slap shot and you put them on this and it's only 60 and you can definitely prove yourself with this. Definitely recommend the radar gun. Also, the weighted hockey pucks are great for wrist shots, uh, not for slap shots really. And another product is the uh, stick weight. This is great. You can get all of these at hockeyshot.com. If you want to snipe a lot of goals, you have to have good accuracy. Easy way to practice accuracy at home. You have a net with some targets in it and have a nice smooth surface to shoot off of. It's going to give you all the motivation you need to get out there and shoot. So, accuracy, all about technique. You have to work on it if you want to be accurate. So I'll give you a few tips right now to improve your shooting accuracy. First thing you can do to improve your accuracy is just align your body properly. So, when I'm shooting for the right side of the net, I want to align my body for the right side of the net. So, I'm not going to be pointing over here, pointing over here. So, for this one, just start by sort of facing your chest at the target. And the next thing you want to do is actually look at the target. So, when you're shooting, look where you're going to shoot, pick a spot, then go for that. Next thing you want to do is the actual technique. So. Like I showed with the wrist shot, you're going to step into the shot, pull in the puck, you're going to release. And what you want to do is you start with the puck right about here, and the puck's going to be released, it's going to release about there. If you draw a line, that line should be pointing at the side of the net that you're shooting. So you want to go like this, and then try to shoot from the left side. So that's just the prep of the shot, pull it back, you're pulling it towards the target right there. And now for shooting high and low. If you want to shoot high, you're going to have a high follow through. If you're going to shoot low, you're going to have a low follow through. So if I want to go for that top right corner, I'm shooting, bringing the puck towards the target, shooting high and following through high. Next thing is the toe of the blade of your stick. You want to point that at where you want the puck to go. So if you want it to go low, you're going to roll it right over like that, keep it nice and low. If you're going high, you're going to leave it open a bit like that and point it at the top right. All right. I'm gonna see if I can snipe with those tips I just gave you. I'm gonna go, I've got four pucks, I'm gonna go for all four corners. Try to get at least general direction. And I don't really care if I miss because I got that backstop there. So we'll go top right, bottom right, bottom left, top left. Top right. Oh, hit the post. And bottom right. Post again. Bottom left. There we go. And top right. There we go. There's some tips for you to improve your shooting accuracy. Remember, you're going to align your body properly to start. You're going to work on your technique. When you're shooting, you have that prep time where you can start bringing the puck towards the target and you want that little imaginary line to be pointing at where you're going to be shooting. And then when you actually have the puck on the blade of your stick, you want to fall through high for the high shots, low for the low shots. Remember to roll that toe, toe all the way down for the low shots, leave it a bit open for the high shots. That should help you improve your accuracy. And don't forget, Grab a set of targets for your net. That's going to help you improve your accuracy a lot. And you can get those targets at HockeyShot.com.